Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Find the antiderivative of cosine of kx, which is in brackets, with respect to x, where k cannot be zero. Step number one, if you think about the antiderivative of cosine, that's going to be sine. So in this case, since we're looking at the antiderivative of cosine of kx, it's going to be sine of kx divided by the derivative of kx, which is k. Again, don't forget, you have to add a constant c. You're not looking for one solution. You're looking for infinite many solutions, which we're collapsing into this one line, also known as a family of solutions. Now, how do we know we're doing it right? What I would say is spend one more minute, double check your work. And by double checking, what I'm going to show you is we're going to go the other way, which means instead of finding the antiderivative, we're going to start with y equal to 1 over k times sine of kx plus c. And we're going to find the derivative. Now, if we're doing this right, this means we're going to get the exact question back. So again, when you're looking for dy by dx, that just means you're finding the derivative of y with respect to x. And in this case, look what happens. 1 divided by k can copy. The constant at the front or the leading coefficient is independent of the derivative. When you find the derivative of sine of kx, it's going to be cosine of kx times the derivative of kx, which is k. Of course, when you find the derivative of a constant, that's going to be zero. And again, look what happens when you clean this up. k divided by k is going to be one. And the derivative here, this is zero, of course, just to be clear, this is zero. And you're left with exactly cosine of kx, which is what we started with. I hope this makes sense.